Hello and welcome back to my sewing corner. If you're new here, you're very much welcome. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. So today without wasting time, I'm going to be sharing with us how to make an eight pieces gown. This dress has the bodies and it has the skirt. All right, so from the top part here, from your shoulder line, all right, to the half length, okay, as you can see, that's where we have the half bodies. And then from that, your half length or your waist to the extreme end of your gown, you have your skirt. You can check my channel. I have a tutorial on how to make braces that have bodies for front and back. So you're going to find it useful. I'm going to link it in the description box. And also, I have a similar video to this. That's on um, six pieces skirt with tail. And trust me, that video is detailed. So check it out. All right. So this is eight pieces skirt. That means you have four panels at the front and four panels at the back piece because you are gonna because you're having four panels that means you're going to be having it's even it's equally shared so you don't have to worry about zip allowance at the back you can just you know sew on the center you can insert your zipper on that center panel okay so that being said let's come to the front skirt because whatever we're doing for the front skirt is what we're going to be doing for the back skirt okay so the difference is just in the zipper which I've just explained. There are different ways of drafting this pieces kit, whether it's six pieces, eight pieces, twelve pieces. Okay, but I try to make it very simple so that even if you're a beginner, you can also find it useful. Measurements you're going to need for this tutorial, you're going to need your half length for the bodies all right you're going to need your shoulder measurement you're going to need your armhole depth or your round armhole you're going to need your nipple to nipple measurement okay you're going to need your bust circumference your waist circumference under bust circumference if you want to have a bust here then for the skirt you're going to need your waist circumference all right you're going to need your hip circumference okay you're going to calculate how to get the m line okay so for the length you're going to need your waist to hip waist to knee length then you subtract about one inch or two inches depending on your height okay that being said let's do some calculations so you're going to take the widest part okay of your body measurements if it's your waist fine if it's your hips no problem so just take that and share it for the front and the back skirt all right so for the front the back for this tutorial the hip circumference that i'm working with here is 24 inches so that means if i share it equally i'm going to have 12 inches here and i'm going to have 12 inches for the back skirt now remember we're having four panels one two three four okay so that means you're going to divide it by four the same thing for the back by four and that will give me was three inches this one will give me was three inches which means each panel should carry words three 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 inches at the upper part so that means if you are to share the panel let's share it equally let's say this is panel a b c and d now we are dealing with the hips okay so this is what three inches three inches three three that is three for this one let me use my pencil three for this one three for this one as well three for this one and three for this one but if you don't want it to be evenly shared, if you want the center, the two, the two pieces at the center to be smaller, you can decide to reduce it by one inch or two inches, depending on your body size. Okay. So now I'm going to take one inch from this one and also one inch from this one. Okay. So that I can have what two inches for these two pieces. Okay. So if you subtract one from this one, that one that you're taking, just give it back to this one. So minus one plus one minus one what plus one that is i'm taking one from this b to give it back to a so a will now give me what four inches while b will give me what two inches c2 will be what two inches while d will be four inches that means your panels at the center are going to be smaller all right so that is it for the hip line so let's share the waist measurement as well 18 inches so that means for the front the overall waist circumference is 18 inches. That means I have 9 inches here. I have 9 inches here as well. Alright? So if you are sharing 9 inches for A, B, C, D, you're going to have 2 quarter, 2.25 for all of the panels. You're not going to shape the center pieces. Alright? You're not going to shape the center pieces. It's only the side that you're going to shape. So definitely, I'm still going to maintain whatever it is I took on this hip line. I'm going to maintain it at the top part. So which means I'm taking out the, the point 25 on the B and C, 
all right so give it back to this one so this is minus 0 0.25 minus 0 0.25 i hope this is not too much mathematics well we give this one what plus 0 0.25 and then plus 0 0.25 2.5 here and then 2 2 and then 2.5 here so here you have 4 plus 2 which will give you what 6 6 plus 2 will give you what 8 8 plus 4 will give you what 12 inches which is what we have here so 2.5 plus 2.5 is what 5 inches 5 plus 2 7 7 plus 2 9 inches which is what we have here the same thing for the back panels you know you're going to need half inch for seam allowance for all of the panels half half inch on both sides that is this side of the center piece to join this side of the side piece that is half inch this side of the center piece to join the other side of the center piece under half inch it makes it one so that means i'm going to add what one one inch for seam allowance three 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 point five five three three Five. For the M line of your skirt, you're going to multiply it by either two or three. We're going to be cutting the center pieces first, okay? Now, because you are cutting on fold, what you're going to do is to divide that six by two as well. That is what three inches. So you're just going to measure out three inches and fold. So I have my pattern paper folded here, and this is the top of my skirt, and this is the base of my skirt. So note that. For this, if you are cutting your if you are cutting for a long gown, you're going to take your full gown length, subtract your half length. So whatever you have left is going to be your skirt length for the gown. Alright. I'm going to mark half inch at the top of my skirt here. Half inch is for me to be able to join this my skirt to the bodies to make a gown. Then I'm going to take what I have. We are cutting one panel first. So so at this top part I have three inches, but because I've folded it now, I'm going to divide it by two to give me what 1.5. So I'm going to mark the 1.5 here, all right? So this is the 1.5. So the next, I'm going to mark my waist to hips, all right, which is five inches. Then the waist to knee, which is eight inches. Then my skirt length, 17 inches. Then the emin allowance, half inch. If you want to shape it, you can go ahead and give it one inch. And please don't forget to click on the like button and also drop a comment ask your questions i love reading comments now here i have my starting line which is this part okay i'm going to join the skirt to the bodies so it's going to serve as my waist line all right and this is my hips line okay this is the knee length all right and this is the base of the skirt with the half inch allowance for aiming or for turning it with the lining so this 1.5 i took him which take it up to the knee length because as you can see it's straight from the waist to the knee length so i'm going to take the 1.5 here as well and i'll connect it in a straight line including my allowance so from this point here i'm going to connect it to the base of my skirt including my allowance here and in already i folded it using my base the hem of the skirt so already i have three inches here if you open it up you're going to have six inches so i'm going to connect this point to this m line here the allowance included then you come here and you fine tune this part so it's it's a bit curved and it's not too sharp right so that's it for one piece i'm going to duplicate it because the same thing i have here is what i'm going to have for the second piece so this is this is b and then c i hope you remember from this my names because i named the, the the second one as b the third one as c okay so we just mark drafted b so we're going to use this b to cut c because they are the same thing so as you can see i've cut out the two center panels okay so this is one and this is the second one so what i'm going to do now we're going to be cutting just in the second and um, the b a and the c that is the first and the last one so we just draft one and use that to cuts out the second one so now you can see that this one has a part of the center piece you can see so we're going to need the center piece to just trace out this part this straight part and then we'll make adjustments to the side so i'm going to pick up one of the center piece as you can see on my pattern even if you're cutting on your fabric this wide widest part 
it's, it's where you're going to place the widest part of your panel too okay so that you can manage your fabric very well okay so that part is going to serve as this side okay that we want to trace out so i'm just going to place it on it trace it and remove it Okay, so I've just done that as you can see. What I'm going to do next is to mark out my prominent point. Just draw horizontal lines across those points. Alright. Already we have the side of the skirt, the straight side. So now I want to draft this curved part. So now at this point you're going to need your waist measurement. You now this top part they are about was two two inches forget the allowance of one inch okay because the time you sew it you're going to be left with the actual measurement so that means two plus two that means four inches is gone out of the waist measurement i remember my waist measurement for this project is what nine inches for the front panel these guys are already taking four inches from that nine inches that means i will need what five inches and that five inches you're going to share it for this one and this one that's 2.5 for both sides what i'm going to do is to first mark out the half inch here the center piece this is three inches the actual measurement is two inches because half inch here and half inch here for joining so i'm going to mark out that half inch so that it doesn't alter my measurements so you mark out the half inch so from that half inch you're going to take out that 2.5 that five inches that we share so you're going to add half inch also for this one to join it to the back skirt so that is under half inch for the same allowance then you're going to add your ease allowance so it all depends on the amount of ease you want but let's just give it two inches for ease allowance the same thing i did here is what we did here so if you notice so you have 3.5 in total isn't it now this is what this is the 3.5 can you see so from this side okay because already you have half inch for this side and then this is a half inch so the actual measurement is what 2.5 then you have half inch on both sides of the panel okay so you come to the hip line here and you're going to take the hip measurement so you also mark your half inch you see that and then you mark your four inches okay so that is the measurement the calculation we did take your four inches then you give it back the half inch for joining this one to the back skirt so so in total you know we got five inches now let me measure it for you to see so you're going to have what five inches can you see that so you have five inches here just subtract one inch and take that on your knee length so that means i will have four inches all right so we're going to give this one the same ease allowance we gave it you know i gave this one two inches for the ease allowance so i'll come here as well and measure the two inches ease allowance the same thing here two inches is allowance so so that we don't get confused i'm going to connect the main measurement and also connect the allowance separately so this is this is the allowance but this is the actual measurement okay so for the end line measure what you have for your triangle the length so from this m line to your knee length here i have nine quarter all right so i'll come here and measure that so that we can have the same measurement so i'm going to just mark draw horizontal lines there as well so now for the m line you're going to take what you have here you remember we are multiplying what we have at the upper part by two and i have Plus the allowance, I have 5.5. So that means we don't have 11 inches at the base of the skirt. So I'm going to connect this to this allowance. Connect it to this one. Alright. I'm just going to connect it like so. And here you go. 
So by the time you're sewing normally, this is what you're going to have. So if you get, if you want to ease your skirt, you want to release it, you know, by the time you say you want to release it by one inch, you release it and then you still connect back to the base of your skirt. But this is what you're going to have basically, all right? So that's it for the side panel, for one of the side panel. So it's called the other side. So what we've just done here is the side of the panel. So just place this one on your fabric make sure the right side is facing the right side and cut the exact thing for this other side and that's it for your panels you have all your panels ready you have all your panels ready all right so this is what we have okay so by the time you're sewing you know you're going to be sewing on this let me show you on this half inch for the, you know you have the same allowance here you're going to be sewing on the half inch seam allowance so you can connect it back to your knee length. If you find this video useful, don't forget to click on the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please click on that red subscribe button. That's it, guys. I'll see you in the next one.